Today we are going to start the first unit, rational numbers. In lower classes, you have already studied different type of numbers. We know that early men started the use of numbers with counting, and hence we have the set of natural numbers or counting numbers denoted by capital N. When zero is included along with the natural numbers, we have the set of whole numbers denoted by capital W. Then comes the set of integers, which includes positive and negative integers along with zero. Zero is neither positive nor negative. Next, fractions were considered and we developed the system of rational numbers. So now we are going to see the next step of numbers which is known as rational numbers a rational number is defined as a number that can be expressed in the form p upon q where p and q are integers and q not equal to zero here p is called the numerator and q is known as the denominator and here we have two necessary conditions that p and q should be integers and the denominator should not be zero as we know that when a number is divided by 0, it is undefined. So, these two are the necessary conditions. Now, we can look at some examples. First one, 5. We know that we can write 5 as 5 upon 1. And therefore, 5 is a rational number. Second one, we have the number 2. And 2 is also again expressed as 2 upon 1 which is the quotient, quotient of the integer 2 and 1 and hence 2 is again a rational number third comes square root of 9 and it's a rational number because you can simplify the square root of 9 to 3 which is the quotient of integer 3 and 1 now we have a decimal number 0 0.9 which is again a rational number because it can be expressed as 9 upon 10 and here we can see that all terminating decimals are also rational numbers because it can be expressed in the form p upon q another example 0 0.73 again a rational number because it can be expressed as 73 upon 100 and 1.5 again a rational number because it can be expressed as 15 upon 10 which can be simplified and expressed as 3 upon 2. Now some important notes. A number as 8 upon 0 or minus 42 upon 0 is not defined and hence is not a rational number. Already we have seen that uh, in the definition of rational number, Q cannot be 0 and uh, therefore 8 upon 0 or minus 42 upon 0 is not defined. 0 is a rational number as it can be expressed as 0 upon q where q is any non-zero integer. We know that 0 can be expressed as uh, 0 upon any number therefore 0 is a rational number. Every fraction is a rational number but a rational number need not be fraction. For example, a number like 8 upon minus 5 is a rational number but not a fraction. Because we know that for a fraction which can be expressed as again p upon q, there p and q are whole numbers but not integers. Now we move on to the next section, positive and negative rational numbers. Rational numbers are classified as positive zero or negative rational numbers when the numerator and denominator both are positive integers or both negative it's a positive rational number when either the numerator or the denominator is a negative integer it is a negative rational number now we can have some examples 8 upon 11 minus 42 upon minus 125 are positive rational numbers in the first one we can see that 8 and 11 are positive integers hence 8 upon 11 is a positive rational number minus 42 upon minus 125 we can see that both are negative integers and hence 
they are positive rational numbers now minus 13 upon 17 and 8 upon minus 5 are negative rational numbers since they have either numerator or denominator a negative integer next we are going to see what is equivalent rational number if a upon b is a rational number and m is a non-zero integer then a multiplied by m upon b multiplied by m is a rational number equivalent to a upon b that means any rational number if you multiply by an integer both on numerator and denominator then we will get an equivalent rational number for example rational numbers 12 upon 15 20 upon 25 minus 28 upon minus 35 minus 48 upon minus 60 are equivalent to the rational number 4 by 5 here we can see that 4 upon 5 when multiplied by same number on numerator and denominator we are getting these rational numbers hence they are equivalent rational numbers to the rational number 4 upon 5 we know that if we multiply the numerator and denominator of a fraction by the same positive integer the value of the fraction does not change for example the fractions 3 upon 7 and 21 upon 49 are equal because the numerator and the denominator of 21 upon 49 can be obtained by multiplying each of the numerator and denominator of 3 upon 7 by 7. Same way, we can either divide or multiply the same numerator and denominator of a fraction by the same positive integer to get an equivalent rational now number. Now we are going to see how we can write equivalent rational numbers for any given rational number. First example, consider a rational number 2 upon 3. Here we are going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by same integer say 3. So we can see that 2 multiplied by 3 upon 3 multiplied by 3 and the answer is 6 upon 9 so we can say that 6 upon 9 is an equivalent rational number of 2 by 3 now the same rational number 2 upon 3 is multiplied by a, a negative integer say minus 4 both on numerator and denominator so 2 multiplied by minus 4 upon 3 multiplied by minus 4 and the answer is minus 8 upon minus 12 and minus 8 upon minus 12 again we can write it as 8 upon 12 and this is an equivalent rational number of 2 by 3 so here we can see that both 6 by 9 and 8 upon 12 are equivalent rational numbers of the same rational number 2 upon 3 same way we can write many rational numbers by multiplying both the numerator and denominator now we are going to see another example consider a rational number say 18 upon 24 and here instead of multiplying by same integer we are going to divide both the numerator and denominator by an integer say 3 so 18 divided by 3 upon 24 divided by 3 we are going to divide both the numerator and the denominator by the same integer 3 so answer is 6 upon 8 and we can see that 6 upon 8 is an equivalent rational number of 18 upon 24 when we divide both the numerator and the denominator by the same integer 3 same way we can write equivalent rational numbers for any given rational number by multiplying or dividing both the numerator and denominator by the same integer.